case length measurement. I think everyone ag agrees it's something uh, that's very important in the, in the hand loading process. If your case is too short, that's not good. If your case is too long, that can be really bad. But when you check the case length, it's probably uh, more debatable. I don't know if that's the best word, and I'm not looking to start a debate here. Not at all. I just, just want to offer a, a different point of view. So, um, one of my loading manuals here says, resizing affects case length. The best time to check case length is after sizing. So that's what I did. I had a single stage press. I would deep prime resize. Uh, that press, check my case length and a case, case length gauge. And if it was close or at maximum, according to the gauge, I'd scrutinize it with a caliper and either accept or reject the case. But uh, it's, uh, it takes time. It adds time to the process, doing all that stuff. But I use range brass and uh, some of it's mine that I picked up and some of it's off of the floor. So I, I like to check every case, every one. Um, with a progressive press, uh, that, that uh, presents a little more challenge. Most people I see reloading on progressive, they're going through every step of the reloading process in in one one phase, let's say, from resizing to final crimp. So when do they check case length? I, I don't know. Maybe before the process, but as as this particular book says, resizing affects the length. When you squash the case down, it typically grows in length. And uh, I'm sure some people can do it with the caref careful. Uh, record keeping and keeping track of lots of brass and such. I, I don't know. I, I'm not to that point to be comfortable doing that yet. <laughs> so, what I do is I use this progressive press, but in two phases. I, I resize, deprime, and I check the case length with a fixture uh, that's not under press at the moment, but I'll, I'm going to show you that. Uh, so I, Deprime, resize, check the case length, um, and then after that, I send my cases through the through the tumbler. And after the tumbler, they come back to the press. I use a universal um, depriming die to knock any media out of the flash hole or primer pocket. But the universal depriming die does not resize the case again, so I don't want the length to change after I check it checked it. So universal depriming die, decapping die uh, uh, on my second go around through the press and then all the other stages of the press as, as typical powder bullet crimp. And just just offering a, another idea. Uh, by no means suggesting this is right for you or appropriate for your situation. Do what you think is safe and will give you good quality hand loads. So let me show you how we're we're doing that. Now you can see I got this still in progressive here that I've adapted with this dial indicator holder here that I made up so I can resize the prime station one and as the cases come around I check my length at station three with this dial indicator. Basically, I checked the case length at station three. Um, if I think I'm near max, I pull it out from station four, toss it. This one's okay. 